Well, we're going to look at digital micrometers versus analog micrometers. Uh, this is a one cent coin. I had to dig that out. Um, and that is because, now this is my digital micrometer. Pull that out. And we'll try and switch it on and nothing. The battery is dead. Now, this one cent coin will open this battery compartment. I can take the old battery out. That's a 2032. And I'll put a new 2032 in and we'll close it up. Now, this was an expensive micrometer. I bought this probably about five years ago. And every time I want to use it, it needs a new battery. Let's see. Okay. Okay, good. It's currently working. I'll put that one cent coin in there. Uh, right, now we're going to measure this pencil. Keep on winding, keep on winding. Now, is that enough? Yes, that's enough. Right. Oops. Tighten it up. Seven point three seven seven. Okay. Now that, of course, is in millimeters. I can switch this to metric if I wanted to, and it is accurate to not point not one, not sorry, not point not not one millimeter, thousands of a millimeter. Okay. So let that go. Turn that off. Wind it back. Now that was a pain in the neck, putting having to put a new battery in there. Now, let's get this one out. Okay, no battery needed. We'll just wind it back. And close it up. And there we go. 7.41. So. No, it's actually, no, it's... Uh, no, it's, I measured it 7.41 this end. Uh, there we go, 7.41 right there. Okay, we're good.